So it's been reported that Blake Griffin will be held out of play for the Pistons due to trade and buyout discussions, and this has been pretty expected. The Pistons are a rebuilding team and Griffin is a vet who is 31 years old, so it makes sense for both sides to separate. However, I don't think any Blake Griffin trade discussions will ever come to fruition as he is on such a terrible contract and I don't think any team will trade for him and a buyout is much more likely. So if that happens, I think Griffin may be an intriguing buyout target for the Lakers, especially if it's done soon, as Griffin could help fill in in the front court and give Davis that time to fully heal from his Achilles injury. So let's go over how Blake Griffin would fit with the Lakers and what his role will be on the team if he gets a buyout. And very quickly before we get into it, if you want to see more interesting NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe, as I really appreciate all your guys' support. So Blake Griffin has struggled so far this season due to getting up there in age, and his body just is not the same anymore. However, I think it's also due to him being a top option on the Pistons, where he's actually still getting double teamed frequently in the few Pistons games I've watched, as he's one of the only known pass threats teams know on Detroit's roster. But with the Lakers, he would be a fourth option at best, and he would get a lot of defensive attention away from him where he can get some good looks. I could see him getting some open threes on kickouts from LeBron where Griffin has actually improved his three-point shot, and he's actually pretty efficient when he's being set up and not having to create his own shot. In this case and in this role, I could definitely see Blake Griffin going back to shooting above average from downtown. Also, while Griffin isn't the same finisher at the rim like he once was, he's become a great facilitator and I think he could thrive in a point forward role off the bench. He's good at hitting the cutter and kicking it out to the open man when posting up, and he could be a huge asset in this role. He'll give the Lakers another distributor and ball handler off the bench, and I think he could really thrive playing against second units. On defense, Griffin has looked really slow and lacks the mobility he once had. It's going to be hard to hide him on defense, but it's possible he can match up okay against slower centers or power forwards who aren't really offensive threats. But still, he'll likely get burned on switches and coach Frank Vogel will need to find a way to hide him on D. Overall, if Blake Griffin becomes available in the buyout market, I think it's a no-brainer for the Lakers to take a flyer on him. While he's not as athletic as he once was, he still has a diverse set of skills that can help him be an asset off the bench. Also, he could help fill in for Davis as I said before, and he could also play next to AD when Davis is healthy again too. We'll see what happens, and the Lakers should definitely monitor Griffin's buyout situation as we approach the trade deadline. So that's a wrap, thank you guys all for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video and want some more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe, and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on my newest video will be coming out. Also, be sure to follow me on the gram and hit me up if you want to talk about basketball or business. Just drop a comment down below my photo or DM me and I'll definitely try it back to most of you guys there. Drop a comment down below, do you think the Lakers should sign Blake Griffin if he does get buy out? Let me know why or why not. As I do real comments, I'm definitely interested to see what you guys have to say here as well. So with all that being said, once again, thank you guys all for watching and hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Peace.